What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video and today I just wanted to talk a bit about Nintendo's brand new app, Nintendo Music. Now us fans have been begging for a Nintendo Music app for years at this point. After Nintendo taking down almost all music videos on YouTube, we've been begging for something. So in response, Nintendo released a Nintendo Music app, and I kinda like it. I would've preferred if they did it like Sega did where they released it on YouTube and YouTube Music, but this is fine too. There's no ads on here because if you didn't know, it's a premium service. Only Nintendo Switch Online members can use it. Thankfully you don't need the expansion pack, just the base version, but I'd get why people would complain that you have to have one. Obviously it doesn't affect me because I already have Switch Online, so let's get into what the app actually has. So right off the bat, the selection isn't really great. We have pretty much all the heavy hitter Switch games, except for a few like Kirby the Forgotten Land, which is kinda strange, but at least we have Star Allies. We also have titles from older consoles like the DS and GameCube, but their choices are just really weird. We only have two DS games and not a single one is Mario, Kirby, Zelda, or anything. We have Tomodachi Collection and Nintendo Dogs. I also find it kind of funny how they included Wii channels because I mean, do we really need this? Not at all, but it's still a happy addition. But for some reason, it's just there's a lot missing. There's no 3DS games, no Wii U games, and the game choices for the other consoles are just weird. No Mario 64, no Mario 3, no Super Mario World, most of the heavy hitters aren't even here. I mean at least we have Super Mario Bros and Dr. Mario for the Game Boy for some reason. Yeah that's probably what I'm questioning the most about this app is how they included Dr. Mario which is great because I love the songs from that game, but not the NES version, the Game Boy version for some reason. We also got Super Mario World 2 before normal Super Mario World, but I don't really mind that because Super Mario World 2 has an amazing soundtrack, but I assume that they're going to be added at a later date. Speaking of that, Nintendo already started to add tracks. We just recently got Mario Wonder and Donkey Kong Country 2. My only critique with that is that they're adding it pretty slowly. This app has been out for what, I think a week at this point, and we've only seen two games added. That might seem like a lot, but Nintendo's catalog is probably over a thousand games, so it's going to take a long time to add everything. And I'm just shocked that this app launched with so little titles. I mean we don't even have the core Mario trilogy. But aside from that, the titles that they did choose are pretty good, I like them. And clicking on them we get to see top tracks, which obviously have the top tracks from the series, and below that we can see all the tracks. Thankfully Nintendo included all the tracks from the games and their variants. For example Mario Wonder's soundtrack has the elephant versions of the song mixed in too. There's also jingles like game overs, too bad, purchase an item, stuff like that. And Nintendo even made specific playlists for like musical courses, wonders, worlds, courses, and that goes for every single game. There's a bunch of different albums for a bunch of different scenarios. There's even character playlists like Bowser, Wiggler, Boo. I kind of think that's a little strange, but I'm not complaining. The albums aren't very filled right now because I mean there's like 10, 20 games on the service right now. So when they add more, it'll be more full. But it's so nice to be able to listen to Nintendo music officially, but I just really hope that they add more songs like Super Paper Mario, because there currently isn't a way to listen to that soundtrack at a high quality. They also added an extend feature, which you can extend the song from 15 minutes all the way to 60 minutes. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to be using this app for a while until they add songs from like Paper Mario Down's Your Door and the Mario and Luigi series since that's what I listen to the most, so I'm going to keep using YouTube music for now. But this app has so much potential, I can't wait till they add more tracks so I can actually listen to it, cause YouTube Music costs around $10 for premium, and you get ad free and background play. Nintendo Switch Music app comes with that, even though you have to have a Switch Online membership, which is far more worth it in my opinion. So if you're looking to listen to Nintendo tracks, I'd highly recommend this app, but don't expect there to be a lot of games. I'm just really excited to see the future of this app, cause again, it has potential, I just want to see Nintendo add more stuff to it. And that about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe for more Nintendo content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.